All right, uh, good morning. It is Monday, December the 4th, 2023. Uh, we hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, I, I know on behalf of um, you know our team, uh, we had just a, a wonderful time at uh, seeing many of you at the client appreciation hockey games over the weekend. Um, a couple wins, right? So they won both games, which is fun. You know, quite a few goals, uh, some nice hits. Uh, not, not any like really good fights this year, but um, there's always next year. Uh, Teddy Bertas was, was fun, and uh, again, most importantly, just um, really, really nice to, to see many of you. And and last night as well as uh, Friday, you know, just really just a small thank you uh, for the opportunity to to, to work with. Um, gosh, we're, we're so blessed, so, so grateful to work with so many wonderful people. So um, just a really nice kind of kickoff to uh, December and and the upcoming holiday season. So. Uh, last week, uh, Charlie Munger uh, passed away, right? So, so many, many of you might be f f familiar with Charlie, uh, who was uh, Warren Buffett's kind of right-hand man at Berkshire for uh, many, many decades. Um, gosh, I mean, one of the all-time greats with, with Warren, of course. Um, and, and in our office, we, you know, we have, uh, we, we, we have a, uh, we, we really appreciate those guys just, um, uh, a lot of our, our investment philosophy stems from uh, what what they do, right? In terms of value investing and avoiding a lot of the political and shiny object uh, you know, investing that, that that you see um, uh, quite a bit of today. And and you know Charlie and Warren, you know, we're always of the the, the belief that you know the, the the best way to accumulate wealth, preserve wealth. Um, is 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 somewhat born right it's 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 that value investing you know kind of slow and steady uh, find find profitable uh, companies that that have good value and um, uh, that, that 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 that's what we do uh, largely here at the office so charlie munger age 99 uh, market last week uh, up again really closing out a really strong month of november okay uh, both equities and fixed income did really, really well last month. And we've talked about this a little bit in the past, but um, really it's just this domino effect uh, from inflation. Okay, so, so last month, again, we got the lowest inflation reading in a couple of years. Okay, and so you get a lower inflation reading. So the first domino to fall is you see that the market starts, uh, the expectation that the Fed is done hiking rates, okay? Not just done hiking rates, but uh, the increased probability is that, that rate cuts will be coming, all right? So, um, so, so then you see not even the short end of the curve, but then the longer end of the curve, which the Fed doesn't control, okay? But, but you see that start to come down, right? Which, um, again, rates down mean bonds, right? Fixed income moves higher. So, so you saw fixed income have a really strong month uh, for December. Uh, and then, and then, obviously, when when rates come down, it's not just fixed income. The market starts anticipating right lower costs of capital, which is uh, uh, very helpful for equities, right? So you see, you see the stock market rally, um, and it's not even just the lower cost of capitals, but again, like that expectation that now now the Fed has in their back pocket, whenever economic growth does start to slow, uh, now they can cut rates. Right, which which is also a tailwind for equities, right? So just just a lot of um, uh, in terms of fixed income and equities, a, a lot a lot of reason to be optimistic in the month of November. Now we, we, we know employment is going to be cooling here. We we know the cost of capital is still high, so um, you know de definitely not out of the woods yet. We would expect a lot of volatility to continue in the in the coming months. But yeah, just just big picture, and I think this is. Um, just another example of why it's so difficult to time markets, right? If you think back just 30 days, a little more than 30 days, right? At the end of October, a lot of doom and gloom, a lot of investors going on the sidelines, and then boom, you get the, the, the best month in the market in quite some time. So um, uh, have a plan, you know, stick with the plan, rebalance your plan, um, 
but it, again, just just why it's so difficult to time markets, and, and why you just you need that allocation that you know you can sleep well at night, and that you can implement for for a retirement plan, and and, and you got to go with it, rebalance it. You can't be trading off headlines. Um, this week we get the November jobs report. Okay, on Friday, that's really the only like really big um, econ- economic number in the coming week, uh, and then in our office, um, like we do uh, most years, so so first week of December here means we're going to be running through all retirement accounts and ensuring that required minimum distributions have been taken. So if you have not yet satisfied your 2023 uh, RMD, uh, you will be hearing from us this week. So uh, we plan to tackle all those in the days ahead. Uh, Questions, comments, concerns, let us know. Again, thank you to all those who who came out uh, for for the event. Really, really fun for us. Uh, We hope you have a great week. Thanks.